again. <laughs> well, if you guys are ready to rock and roll this week, I want to see your best rock and roll face on the count of three. Ready? One, two, three, rock and roll face! Nice! That was even better than last week. Welcome to 70s week here at Kid Row. So if you guys have your 70s gear on, A plus to you. But now we're gonna start off with a little bit of a rock and roll call. So when I call your name, I wanna see your fist go up in the air and I want you to say, Pirate Patrol! Let's practice that, okay? Let's all say, Pirate Patrol! On the count of three. Here we go. One, two, three. Pirate Patrol! Nice! So listen up for your name. Do we have Edie? Hi, Edie! And then we've got Fletcher! Hi Fletcher! And now we've got Noah! Awesome job Noah! And then we've got Olivia! <laughs> Hi Olivia! And now we've got Ruby! Hi Ruby! Next up we've got Theo! Hi Theo! And last but not least we have Willa! <laughs> awesome job, Willa! All right, you guys, now that we know that everyone's here, let's get started. All right, now let's do a little bit of Hey Johnny Walker. So I need everyone up on their feet so that they can dance around. Everyone up on your feet, up on your feet. Nice! Now, when I'm singing the song, I need you to dance as much as you possibly can. But when I say the word stop, you have to freeze. All right, sound good? All right, here we go. Hey Johnny Walker walking down the street He didn't know what to do so he stopped in front of me and said Hey boy do you think, do you think, hey boy do you think, do you think and stop Nice job! Alright, we're gonna do that again And remember, you have to freeze when I say stop Alright, here we go Hey Johnny Walker walking down the street he didn't know what to do, so he stopped in front of me and said, Hey boy, do you think, do you think, hey boy, do you think, do you think, and stop. Nice! Good job, you guys! All right, this time when I say stop, I want you to freeze and make your best rock and roll face. For example, this is my rock and roll face. All right? So remember, think of your rock and roll face. Think about it. Lock it in your brain. And I want you to freeze and make that rock and roll face. All right, here we go. Hey Johnny Walker, walk him down the street. He didn't know what to do, so he stopped in front of me and said, hey boy, do you think, do you think, do you think, hey boy, do you think, do you think, and stop. Nice, awesome job. All right, we're gonna go again. And remember, freeze on your rock and roll face. All right, here we go. Hey Johnny Walker walking down the street. He didn't know what to do, so he stopped in front of me and said, Hey boy, do you think, do you think, hey boy, do you think, do you think, and stop. Nice job! All right, this time we're gonna go again, but this time around, I want you to make your silliest face when I say stop. All right? For example, this would be my silly face. All right, so remember when I say stop, I want you to freeze and make your silly faces. All right, here we go. Hey, Johnny Walker walking down the street. He didn't know what to do, so he stopped in front of me and said, Hey, boy, do you think, do you think, hey, boy, do you think, do you think, and stop. Good job. We're going to go again, all right? And remember, freeze on your silly faces. Hey Johnny Walker walking down the street. He didn't know what to do, so he stopped in front of me and said, Hey boy, do you think, do you think, hey boy, do you think, do you think, and stop. Nice job! All right, we're gonna go two more times, and then these last two rounds of Hey Johnny Walker, I want you to freeze and make a monster face. Can you make a monster face? Nice! So I want you to freeze on those monster faces. All right, here we go. Hey, Johnny Walker walking down the street. He didn't know what to do, so he stopped in front of me and said, Hey, boy, do you think, do you think, hey, boy, do you think, do you think, and stop. Nice! 
we're gonna go one more time. And remember, freeze on those monster faces. Here we go. Hey, Johnny Walker walking down the street. He didn't know what to do, so he stopped in front of me and said, Hey, boy, do you think, do you think? Hey, boy, do you think, do you think? And stop! Nice job, you guys! Awesome dancing! All right, now on to your next activity. All right, crew. I heard a lot of you guys liked the avocado song last week. So let's do it again. All right, but before we do, let's review dynamics a little bit. Does anyone remember what dynamics are? Okay, you. Close. Almost. How about you? Right. Yes, dynamics is when the volume of the song gets louder or softer. So like, first we pick avocado. And then we go into guacamole, guac guacamole. So those are the dynamics. You guys ready? All right. First, we pick avocados, pick, pick avocados. Then we pick avocados, pick, pick avocados. Then we slice avocados, slice, slice avocados. Then we slice avocados, slice, slice avocados. Then we mash avocados, mash, mash avocados. Then we mash avocados, mash, mash avocados. Then we guac. Amoli, quack quack amoli, then we quack amoli, quack quack amoli. <laughs> Serious face. <laughs> Next, we need some bananas to go along with this. You guys ready to go bananas? First, you pick bananas, pick pick bananas, then you pick bananas, pick pick bananas, then you slice bananas, slice slice bananas, then you slice bananas, slice slice bananas, then you mash bananas mash mash bananas then you mash bananas mash mash bananas then you go bananas go go bananas then you go bananas go go bananas serious face now we need a little applesauce to go with all this so we have to sauce some apples you ready first you pick the apples pick pick the apples then you pick the apples pick the apples then you slice the apples slice slice the apples then you slice the apples slice slice the apples then you mash the apples mash mash the apples then you mash the apples mash mash the apples then you sauce the apples sauce sauce the apples apple sauce the apples sauce sauce the apples serious face last up we need to wash this down with some lemonade. First, you pick the lemons, pick, pick the lemons, then you pick the lemons, pick, pick the lemons, then you slice the lemons, slice, slice the lemons, then you slice the lemons, slice, slice the lemons, then you squeeze the lemons, squeeze, squeeze the lemons, then you squeeze the lemons, squeeze, squeeze the lemons, then you aid the lemons, lemonade the lemons, then you lay the lemon, la da 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 da. <laughs> right? <laughs> so now we have to take our guacamole and our bananas and our applesauce and we have to eat them, ready? <laughs> then we need to wash it down with some lemonade. <laughs> there we go. And there you have it, back to you. All right, you guys, so now we're gonna talk about the instrument for this week, the guitar. Now, can anyone tell me if this guitar is an acoustic guitar or an electric guitar? Anyone know? Hmm, I'm thinking that this is an acoustic guitar. Now, this is an acoustic guitar because it can make sound without being plugged into anything. An electric guitar, however, needs a wire to use electricity to help it make sound. And this one can make sound all by itself. So one more time, can we say acoustic guitar? Nice, good job. All right, now these are the strings of the guitar. So let's count how many strings there are. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six. Nice job! There are six strings on a guitar, and each string has its own name based on what note they play. So their names are E, A, D, G, B, E. Now here at Kid Row, we have a way of remembering 
these note names. And that way is Eddie ate dynamite goodbye Eddie. Because he blew up because he ate too much dynamite. It's not good for your health. <laughs> so can we all say that together? Eddie ate dynamite goodbye Eddie. Awesome job, you guys. Now we're looking at these little sections right here on the neck of the guitar. These little sections right here are called frets. Can you say frets? Nice, frets. Now frets, when you press on them, help us change the pitch of the guitar. Watch this. Notice how the pitch changes depending on which fret I'm pressing? Awesome job, you guys! Now, when we're talking about frets, we're going to be talking about numbers. So, if I say fret 1, this will be fret 1 right here. And then this will be fret 2, and fret 3, and 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Whew, those are a lot of frets. Alright, so, when you hear someone say fret 1, start counting here, and that's your fret 1. If someone says fret 5, let's count from the top. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. That's what they mean by fret five. Now let's say someone wanted to play fret seven. Where's fret seven? Let's start from the top. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's fret number seven. Good job, you guys. So always start right here on fret one and then count your way down. So now that we know the basics on the guitar, let's learn our song. All right, you guys, so we're gonna do a new song this week called Hey Lolly. So I'm gonna call out each one of your names and when you hear your name called, I want you to get up and dance all over the room, all right? Okay, here we go. Hey Lolly, 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 hey Lolly, Lolly, oh. Hey lolly, 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 hey lolly, lolly, oh, this is a silly kind of song. Hey lolly, lolly, oh, you make it up as you go along. Hey lolly, lolly, yo, oh. edie, hey edie, 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 hey edie, edie, oh, hey edie, 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 hey edie, edie, oh, Fletcher, hey Fletcher, 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 hey Fletcher, Fletcher, oh. Hey Fletcher, Fletcher, Fletcher. Hey Fletcher, Fletcher, oh Noah. Hey Noah, Noah, Noah. Hey Noah, Noah, oh. Hey Noah, Noah, Noah. Hey Noah, Noah, oh. Olivia, hey Olivia, Olivia, Olivia. Hey Olivia, Olivia, oh. Hey Olivia, Olivia, Olivia. Hey Olivia, Olivia, oh. Rumi, hey Rumi, Rumi, Rumi. Hey Rumi, Rumi, oh. Hey Rumi. Theo, Theo, hey Theo, Theo, oh Willa, hey Willa, 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 hey Willa, Willa, oh Hey Willa, 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 hey Willa, Willa, oh Lolly, hey Lolly, 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 hey Lolly, Lolly, oh Hey Lolly, 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 hey Lolly, Lolly, oh Good job, you guys! Nice dancing! Okay, crew, let's talk about some stage presents. Stage presents are these gifts that people leave for you on the stage, and you open them up, and they're presents. No, 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 you're right. That's not what stage presence is. Stage presence is like how you present yourself on stage, so how you're acting. Are you having a great time? Are you sad? Are you crying? What are you doing on stage? That's your stage presence. So what we want is really good stage presence. So we're gonna do an activity where you at home are going to say if I'm having good stage presence or not so good stage presence, okay? I'm gonna do a song. Now what you're looking for is for good stage presence, you're really gonna wanna be smiling or making a face or doing something to emote emotions in your face while you're performing. So whether you're playing guitar or whether you're singing, you want to always be like expressing yourself through your face. 
and the rest of your body. When I'm singing on stage, I'm always like pointing and raising my arms and jumping around and kicking my feet and doing whatever I can to kind of express the song through my body. It always is about having fun, right? So as long as I'm having fun on stage and doing that stuff, the audience is gonna have a great time. Now, we're definitely gonna practice like remembering notes when we do a run through and then remembering your stage presence and your notes together. But for now, I just want you to focus on thinking about how you're presenting yourself on stage. If we go on and we're kind of feeling mousy and not sure, we get up there and we cry. <laughs> It's not that great of a show. But if you go up there to have fun, cause you're with your friends and your, your whole crew and your band, you just wanna like get up there and you really wanna give it. You just wanna like have so much confidence. You just feel good about it. You have to like look around and say like, wait, these are my friends. And look, that, that's my family. Like, I got this, I could do this. And you get up there and you just have a great time and it will show. Now, if you forget a note or you forget your lyrics, get off stage. No, I'm just kidding. If you forget that stuff, it's fine because as long as you're having fun, it's great. I've been to some really big concerts where the band knows all the notes and all the words, but they don't have much stage presence, so it's not really a great show. And then I've been to shows where people forget the lyrics and they like drop something and it, that's just a live show and they're having so much fun and they're laughing and having a good time and we're laughing and having a good time in the audience. I want you to watch out for what I'm doing and you say whether I'm having good stage presence or not so good stage presence. Ready? Last night. Good stage presence. 9 a.m. Oh wait, no one can hear me. My microphone's down there. Gonna be high as a kite, my friend. That was some pretty good stage presence, right? Oh no, but now I'm getting nervous. I miss the earth so much. I miss my wife. <laughs> It's gonna be a long, long time The touchdown brings me round again to find I'm not the man you think I am at home Oh no, I'm a rocket man Rocket man, burning out of fuse up here alone See, I didn't have to move from my space that much And I still gave a little hook huh. And I think it's gonna be a long, long time The touchdown brings me round again to find I'm not the man you think I am at home Oh no, oh, I'm a rocket man Rocket man, burning out his fuse up here alone Doesn't it look like I'm having fun, do you know why? Cause I am!
that should have been a thumbs up for sure. Okay, you guys get the point, right? Good. Good job, guys. Be a long, long time. You can get down on one knee. Bring me round again to find. I'm not the man you think I am at home. Oh, no. You want to always, like, make eye contact with your audience. Yeah, point to them. Man, burning out his views up here alone. Good job, guys. Good exercise. Thank you. Today, class, we are going to learn about the music of the 70s. Actually, we're going to learn about disco and glam rock, two of the biggest styles of the music of the 70s. So disco is like a kind of dance music. In the 70s, what people would do is they would go out to these places called the disco or the discotheque, and they would go and they would be like wearing bell bottoms and have cool hair and just like lots of like glitter and rhinestones and stuff on their clothes and sequins. And they would go out and they would dance to different music. And the disco music, what's cool about it is it was the first time they started showing people that you could make music with more than just the regular instruments we're used to. They started using stuff like synthesizers, which are keyboards. You know how when you're on the keyboard and you press the different buttons, it makes all different sounds and stuff? That's a synthesizer. And those started being used in the music of the 70s with disco. And people would go and they would dance and have fun one of the cool things about the music is that it had four on the floor as the dance beats. So four on the floor is, you know how in a song and in a measure we have like four beats, like one, two, three, four. So on those beats, there was always a kick drum, like one, two, three, four, the whole time. So why don't we get out your feet? I'll wait. Okay, you got your feet. Let's do some stomping to the beat, okay, you ready? And we're gonna do four to the floor. Ready? Boom, boom, boom. Another one bites the dust. Dun, 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 dun. Another one bites the dust. And another one gone, and another one gone. Another one bites the dust. Hey, I'm gonna get you too. Another one bites the dust. Hey. So that's four on the floor. We're also gonna talk a little bit about glam rock. Glam rock was a really fun kind of rock and roll style that came out of the UK in the early 1970s. Over there, the bands started to like wear makeup and put on a lot of glitter and do get crazy hair and wear crazy costumes, usually really shiny and like sequins or silver and like big shoulders and just all sorts of stuff and platform shoes. You can't forget your platform shoes. What are platform shoes you ask? Well, I don't have any on, sorry. Um, but they're like shoes that just had like big bottoms to them. So you would be standing and you'd be like super, super tall. And you would just get to like really groove out to the disco beat and put your feet up and have a good time. Tons of fun. So my favorite glam rock bands are Queen. And then my favorite, well, my favorite band is Queen. And then my favorite artist is David Bowie. And so you can ask your family to show you some examples of that at home. Hello kitties, it's Jana Banana and Just Incredible. I know you guys have been rocking and rolling. You've been talking about disco and glam rock and four on the floor. So now we're gonna apply it now that you're ready to rock and roll. So get your shakers out. You got them? Okay, good. All right, now we're gonna count to one, two, three, four. And we're gonna stop at four. And you guys are gonna shake on each beat. So count out loud and shake it. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. You got the rhythm, baby. Now we can rock and roll. All right, band, we've got our percussion. We learned what four on the floor is, but now we have to play it in a song. We've been talking today about the 70s. There's a great style of music called glam rock. One of the best bands of that era is called T-Rex. It's Barney's big brother. They have a song, <laughs> they have a song called Bang a Gong. And what I need you to do is get your percussion ready, and I need you to follow Jana's kick drum pattern. We're gonna play it all together. You ready? Let's count to four to start this puppy.
cheerio. It's also, it's fun to stay at the, the zoo. Yeah, but it's also fun to stay at the YMCA. YMCA. Here we go.
What's up, rock stars? Matan Batan here, and I'm gonna teach you how to play Blitzkrieg Bop on the guitar. So, in order to play the song, the first thing I want you to do is find the fifth fret of the low E string. So all you have to do is count one, two, three, four, five, and you're there. The way I know where the fifth fret is, I also look for the second dot on the top of the guitar. So a lot of guitars have these dots right here. We're gonna go from this dot to that dot the second dot. And now what I'm gonna do is put my first finger on that fifth fret of the low E string. With my right hand, I'm holding a pick and I'm just gonna make down strokes in quarter notes. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So to be honest, that's pretty much the entire verse. I, O, oh, let's go. I, O, oh, let's go. While the singer is singing I O oh, let's go, you're just playing the fifth fret of the low E string in quarter notes. And what you're playing is an A note. Now, the verse of the song gets a little more complicated, but not too bad. What you're gonna do is play this fifth fret of the E string four times. And then you're gonna bounce down to the A string, which is right below it, and play the fifth fret of that once. And then what I'm gonna do is take my ring finger and play the seventh fret of the A string once. So you can count five, six, seven. And then I'm gonna go back and play the low E string on the fifth fret four times again. And then I'm gonna play the fifth fret of the A string twice again. And then right back to the low E string for two more hits. So the way it's gonna sound with the verse is like this. They're forming in a straight line. They're going through a tight one. The kids are losing their minds. Let's quick pop. Again, the forming in a straight line. They're going through a tight one. The kids are losing their minds. Let's creep up. So that's going to be that entire verse, just like that. Now you'll notice that while the singer is singing, they're forming in a straight line. I'm just doing downstrokes on the fifth fret of that low E string, just like the verse. And as soon as the singer is finished with the line, that's when I go to fifth fret of the A string, seventh fret of the A string. They're forming in a straight line. They're going through a tight one. The kids are losing their minds. Let's creep up. last part only happens after the singer goes blitz good bop awesome so now you know both parts of the song let's try them together hey oh let's go hey oh let's go hey oh let's go hey oh the verse they're forming in a straight line they're going through a tight one the kids are losing their minds let's creep up awesome so I hope you learned a lot today about playing Blitzkrieg Bop on the guitar. Good luck and rock on. Hey guys, it's time for you to rock. So now get out your instruments or your microphones or whatever you're gonna be using on stage. And what I'm looking for is I'm looking for lots of energy, okay? Pretend like you just ate so much sugar and you're like bouncing off the walls and you're so excited to be there. Now with rock and roll, 
you can give a little attitude. You can be a little like, Psh, I got this, or like, I'm gonna eat for lunch. You also can be like smile and happy and having a great time on stage, okay? So you're gonna definitely focus on keeping track of your notes and playing the right thing as much as you can. Also, I want you to incorporate the stage presence piece, okay? But after the next round, that's when you, I really want you to put those two together, okay? So I'm looking for like microphones being held up to the mouth and like the keyboards to not just be looking down the whole time, but you wanna be looking up and you wanna, you know, you can look down to check your note, but you wanna engage. As soon as you feel that like feeling, whether you're playing guitar or keyboard or drums, that you know what the next note is or you're just automatically doing it, that's when you can like look up and like do your thing. But as the singer, you're remembering the lyrics the whole time so you could just go and move around the whole time, okay? Y'all ready for this? Oh, that wasn't 70s. Okay, that was more 90s. Okay guys, we're in the green room. The room is neither green nor really a room, but it's the place backstage where you hang out till you go on stage. So right now we're behind this curtain right here and we're waiting to be introduced. And as soon as they introduce us, we're gonna put our hands together and we're gonna yell our band name on three, right when they announce us. Then we're gonna go out, we're gonna look down and make sure we're not stepping on any cords or tripping on any wires. We don't need any of that. That's not the kind of rock and roll we want. We're gonna go out there, we're gonna walk over quietly to our instruments and we're gonna stand there and wait for the song to start. Once we get introduced and someone says, we are the blah, blah, blahs. That's a good name for a band actually, the blah, blah, blahs. And then once the drummer hits the sticks together and they like count us in, that's when we'll start playing our instruments and singing our song, okay? But when we're in the green room, we're gonna act really quiet like mice because we need to be listening to what the teacher's telling us and we need to be not making noise so that the band that's on stage doesn't have any issues with that, okay? Because we don't want to distract them from what they're doing or the audience to hear us because we're gonna go out there and we're gonna be a big old surprise, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna wait till we get announced. Here comes Justin, I hear it, on three. The Blah, blah, blahs! And now we go out the curtain onto stage. All right, Pirate Patrol, I got one question for you. Are, Are you ready? All right, Pirate Patrol, remember your word of the day is stage presence. That means you're having fun on stage. That means you're loud and you're proud and you're rocking. Make your meanest face real quick. Now repeat after me. We are Pirate Patrol. This is Blitzkrieg Bump. Say, Hit it, drummer! All right, count in with me, here we go! One, two, one, two, three, four! Here we go! Hey, oh, let's go! Hey, oh, let's go! Hey, oh, let's go! Hey, oh! Going through a time 
love oh good job guys that was more like it that was amazing you guys should be so proud of yourselves you are stage ready well we'll just keep on rehearsing and keep on having classes and having a blast together we got this we got this and we're gonna just go up there and use our stage presence and do everything on stage. We're gonna leave it on the stage. That's what they say in rock and roll, is that we leave it on the stage, meaning you go out there and you just pour it all out and you just let it loose in all of it and then you leave like, and I'm done. Hey everybody, what's up? It's DJ Ian. I'm here to play a little game of freeze dance with you. So when I press the stop button, you need to stop. Can you handle that? Let's try it out, let's try it out. Ah. Everybody stop, everybody stop. All right, here we go, we're gonna go again. Everybody freeze. All right, here we go. Oh, trying to trick you on that one. Did I get you? Did I get you? I know I got somebody. Let's keep going. Oh my gosh, I moved. I'm out. I'm out. Okay, I'm out now. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Pause. I hope you pause. Here we go. Did a quick one that time. I hope you caught it. I hope you caught it. It's gonna get a little harder now. Somebody definitely just moved. I know it. I know it. We're getting close to the end. Let's see who's still standing. everybody i hope you had some fun with my freeze dance game that was let's dance by david bowie um i'm gonna be doing a live stream takeover of kid rose instagram this friday at 6 p.m so if you're available and free and want to come dance with me come hang with me friday at 6 p.m until then i'll see you then
question for you. Did you come to rock today? All right, here we go. You guys ready? One. What's up, dudes and dudettes? It's me, Bear, here at the Kid Row headquarters. Hope you guys had so much fun today. I know I did. Now it's time to design a Kid Row flyer. Don't forget to include your band name, band logo, show date, show location, show time, and show price. Also, don't forget to take a picture and tag us on Instagram. We love seeing your guys' art. Have so much fun, be super creative, and don't forget to dress up because next week is 80s week. We'll see you then. Check you later.